Welcome to Empower Humans. Welcome to Getting Empower Humans podcast. This is episode 88, day 16 of our continuing coverage of this coronavirus pandemic. We're going to get into several things here today. And uh, I want to first remind you, as always, you are absolutely priceless and you're never alone. Nothing will change either of those two facts. Don't think anything other than that. Uh, some You might be worried about one more than the other at various times in life. But suffice it to say that you are never alone and you are absolutely priceless. Your worth is beyond any of the so-called riches of this world. The riches are found in you. And this is part of the reason why you and all the rest of us, we're, we're staying in this uh, social distancing isolation mode right now, trying to stop and flatten the curve of this uh, coronavirus from spreading uh, further than it already has. And let's talk about that for a second. The numbers being what they are. 1,117,860 confirmed cases as of this recording. And again, keep in mind that take that with a grain of salt. There may be quite a few more. There's certainly not any less, although some folks have passed on and some folks have recovered. Quite a few more have recovered. 228,990 have recovered versus 59,203 deaths so far uh, with this. And again, it's, it's in early stages. And so we're going to watch this probably get worse before it gets better. Uh, touching on the numbers in the United States, 277,475. So we've crossed the quarter million mark in the United States as far as confirmed cases. Now of that, 103,476 are just in New York. Okay, let that sink in. More than a third of all the cases in the United States. Remember, there's 50 states. New York is a very populated state, uh, but uh, more than a third are in the state of New York and over 3,200 deaths uh, out of New York so far. Uh, where I'm at in Nevada, we're at about 1,500, uh, 1,514 cases, 43 deaths so far. And you contrast all of this with a country like Italy. Now, again, we're in the early stages of how this is playing out. None, none of us expected this. Go back to January. Remember where you were and what we were thinking and planning for the year. And everyone in school, everyone working, everyone going to restaurants, going into Vegas or various other places, flying on airplanes for work or pleasure or whatever the case might be. And all of a sudden, life changed. Here we are. And I look at these numbers in Italy, and to me, it's just mind-boggling because it seems like the percentage of deaths is going up. 119,000, almost 120,000 confirmed cases in Italy and 14,681 deaths. So you, you, that's well over 10%. That's probably about 12, 13%. I'm just doing a little math in my head. I'm off, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, the interesting thing about these numbers, we talked about this recently, the deaths per million in population. In the U.S. so far, that is uh, 22 per 1 million, which uh, is certainly something to take seriously. In Italy, it's 243, which is, again, more than 10 times the deaths per million in the United States. There's a lot of factors to all that. Uh, the same is true in Spain, 119,000, almost 120,000, almost similar numbers, 11,000 deaths so far in Spain, just a little over that, and 240 deaths per million. So it's interesting the percentages as they're playing out. I don't know what else to say, uh, what to make of all that, but that's the situation as it stands right now, and it's worth touching on, some food for thought as this thing progresses. I hope everybody is in a positive place. I hope you're spending time with people that matter in your life, loved ones, family, friends, uh, your roommate, your coworkers, if you can. Um, I, I know, you know a lot of folks are out of jobs, especially folks who worked in restaurants and hospitality and these things where events and uh, various social activities would take place, and especially right here in a place like Las Vegas where I'm at. But uh, I, I saw a headline today that uh, kind of uh, made me sad. These people were married 51 years and they died six minutes apart. Um, on the one hand, I mean, if you love someone and you're married that long, it's probably best that you go about the same time. And that happens. Uh, this is a situation where they, again, back Christmas time, holiday season, January, February, they didn't think or plan probably that this was going to happen. Uh, also in New York, over 500 deaths uh, today, I believe, or in the last 24 hours or so. So these numbers are increasing, like I said, getting worse before it gets better. And uh, they also said in New York they may run out of ventilators in the next few days. Now, I have a friend from uh, New York City area who may come on the podcast in the next few days, maybe Monday, Tuesday, and uh, discuss some of the things going on there. And also he's kind of an expert in 
some uh, natural eating and fasting and all these various things. And he's got tons and tons of insight. Just fascinates me when we've had long conversations about this topic. And uh, and he kind of practices what he preaches as well. So look for that coming up in the next few days. And uh, another thing we're seeing is the CDC and government officials are changing some of their uh, recommendations as it concerns face masks. I went on Amazon today just looking to see, hey, is any of this still available? And there are things still available. It seems like prices are up uh, quite a bit more than what they're worth. And also I saw some of the face masks that had previously been popular are probably still popular and you can still buy them, but you're not going to be able to receive them until mid to late May at this point. And as of this recording, we're in early April. So uh, that doesn't do a lot of good in the near term to have to wait till mid to late May for that. You know, I'm hoping a lot of things reopen uh, again with str- with str- strategic uh, scheduling and with the things going on. Uh, not that we just reopen, you know, without any sort of planning and thinking about what's going on, but... You know, I don't think kids will be back in school, to be honest. That's that's my prediction. I'm no uh, psychic, but that's the situation we're in. Uh, I, I saw that Brooke Baldwin, who's an anchor on CNN, uh, along with her co-worker there, another anchor, uh, Chris Cuomo, uh, they both tested positive for the coronavirus. And he's been coming on talking about his experience with this. He says the beast comes out at night uh, with this as far as... And if any of you have ever had any sort of virus, when your body goes into fever mode and stuff, people, it just it's just gets ugly. Um, I know he's been trying to sleep 10 plus hours a day, he said, and uh, a lot of things like that. So we wish them well and everybody else affected, famous or not. Uh, but I hope that everybody's doing well out there as well. Um, I saw one other thing from CNN that a New York uh, woman uh, played her husband their wedding song on FaceTime as he passed away from the coronavirus. And uh, that's where it kind of hits home because these are poignant, uh, very deep, simple, personal things. And many people who are passing away from this virus are doing it alone. And uh, it's unfortunate for all involved. It's very, very sad. And it's very sudden for the most part. I mean, this happens relatively quickly in the cases where there's a death involved. And people have to remain isolated, so you can't, they can't have people there with them, talking, holding hands, saying goodbye. I mean, thankfully, we have things like FaceTime and other ways to communicate that way, but that uh, is a very emotional thing. Um, I just want to wish everybody well. We're going to continue this series and uh, continue updates. Um, I'm sure we'll see some positive news here soon as well. And any positive news uh, can always exist in our positive attitude because no matter what circumstances we're in in life, our attitude and our outcomes uh, largely from our mindset uh, depend on our choices. We can choose that. It doesn't mean we need to pretend that we're not going through something here and uh, frustrated and hurting or, you know, suffering, losing jobs. I hope everyone's taking care of a situation related to bills and rent and so on, depending on what your situation is out there. But there's plenty of resources and options. And thankfully, a lot of companies, uh, you know, from the cell phone companies to the utility companies and uh, landlords, mortgage lenders are stepping up in a big time way to give people a lot of uh, leeway and leverage and breathing room with the situation being what it is. Um, I want to leave with our challenges as always. Study. uh, Keep studying and stimulating our minds. Learn something if you can. Uh, Take your mind off some of what the other stresses and fears and concerns might be with this and make great moments with family members. I continue to do that. I rode bikes with my boys again today and uh, working on puzzles, playing some video games and of course some educational things as well and doing some work from home uh, on top of it. And uh, I just I think that's going to be something as everyone look, looks back on this in the future, especially these kids. If you've got kids involved, that that's what they're going to remember because they're not the ones watching the news so much for the most part. But they'll remember, oh, yeah, there was a virus and we we're out of school and these things happen. But this is what we did during that time. So let's make these moments count. I know people have meltdowns, so there's no reason to hide from that. We've got some as well here and there and uh, a little heated emotions once in a while. But we can learn to be more patient with each other, be more united in our homes, our family situations, whatever the case might be. Um, I just want to leave you with all that. And, of course, our last challenge, as always, let's keep doing this podcast together. 
course, I love you and appreciate you. We will get through this, my friends. I absolutely promise we will get through this. Keep your head up high. And if you're in a leadership position, your family, household, or business or whatever, lead with confidence and strength. And, uh, of course, seek help as needed. Go to hope.empowerhumans.com for more information, uh, some links. Our Facebook group is on there. Memes as well, some comic relief. I've got well over 100 memes up there that's linked up through that. And this Hope page is also linked from our homepage, empowerhumans.com. You can reach out through uh, info at empowerhumans.com or email address at empower101 on Instagram and Twitter. And I uh, want to leave you with all that, my friends. So keep your heads up high and love you. And until next time, empower yourself, empower the world around you. Thank you. Thanks so much for listening to Empower Humans. If you enjoyed the show, please rate and review this podcast. For more great content and to stay up to date, visit EmpowerHumans.com. We'll catch you next time.